ladies and gentlemen, Robert De Niro. I met Don sometime before we were both cast in Casino. It was a different world back then. There was affirmative action. <laughs> for Jews. No one had told Steven Spielberg he had to hire more Italians for Schindler's List. But in 1984, Universal said we needed more Jews in the picture. <clears throat> what? We don't have enough Jews in the picture? Alan King and Sharon Stone? What are they, chopped liver? <laughs> Turns out Sharon Stone wasn't even Jewish. <laughs> With a name like that. Ooh, you know. So we had to get another Jew. We didn't need a star. We needed uh, just a Jew who would, you know, work cheap and who would... <laughs> we, we, could, we could bury in a, in a bit part. A couple of lines in the background and a few shots, you know, like that. So. Jackie Mason wasn't available, so who did we get? Don Rickles. It was a true collaboration. Right, Don? <laughs> Me doing some of my best acting of my career. And Don standing in the background in some of my biggest scenes. I mean, I, I love Don then. I love him now. But Don is something rare. A true friend, a wonderful human being. If he weren't, he would never be able to get away with being such an asshole. Now it's my honor to bring out another true friend. At least he wasn't until we worked together with Don. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Marty Scorsese. Thank you. No, it's, it's true. You know, Bob and I did like eight pictures together. Um, we would put everything we had into each and we'd always be excited about doing the next one. Then we did Casino with Don 20 years ago. <laughs> and we haven't worked together since. <laughs> now, it's amazing, it's amazing, Don, the influence you've had on our careers. Yeah, Don, on behalf of Leo DiCaprio, thanks a lot. <laughs> now, when, when Bob De Niro and I are on the, on the same stage together these days, it's usually to give each other lifetime achievement awards. So we see each other mainly at award ceremonies and memorial services. <laughs> like tonight. <laughs> we wanted to honor your memory, Don, so here we are. <laughs> Though if I'd been directing this, I don't think I would have gone for the open casket. <laughs> Rest in peace, old friend. <laughs> I, I was asked to speak a little about what it's like to direct you. Uh, it's difficult because nobody can direct Don Rickles. I mean, directors just hand him over to the set decorator and they put him in, you know, where he do the least damage. <laughs> Actually, no, I mean, having Don on the set and in all those shots lent a real presence to the film. He was a direct line to the 1970s uh, Las Vegas and Casino. The town was a character in that, in that movie. And Don, you were the link to that town. You know, you gave it authenticity. You gave it a sense of danger. That was the theory anyway. <laughs> I, it worked. Don's a real thing. Is it, he was there when, when the mob ran Vegas. He was court jester to the Rat Pack. And yes, he knew Sinatra, and, and he managed to say it in every goddamn sentence he ever said. Yeah, I, yeah, I knew Frank. Frank loved me. There was Frank in my front row. Frank always came to see me. I told Frank this, I told Frank that. I'm so f sick of hearing <laughs> about Frank Sinatra enough already. It made me want to tell Frank to go f himself. I mean, I don't know how to tell you this, Don, but Frank is dead. Coincidentally, dead is also the average age of your fans. You're more than a relic of that era. You're still doing it, and Don, you are as fresh and funny now as you were 50 years ago. 
We, uh, we put together a little video of Don Scenes in Casino. Now, don't blink. <laughs> you might miss it. Would you mind taking your feet off the table and put your shoes on, please? Yeah, I would mind. <laughs> asshole won't budge. Sam, we got a problem. What is it? Oh, that guy. He wants a 50,000 marker. No, just give him, give him a 10. But he'll come up with 10,000 just the way you want. Yeah, 10,000. 50! <laughs> I say something wrong? You're supposed to say, I should have known better. I'm no, saying. <laughs> For the kind of money you're making, what's, read the what's... card. <laughs> Learn the thing. You gotta pop out breathing. <laughs> Sit in there and study. <laughs> with your method acting, with the breathing, with the bullshit. <laughs> Do the lines and let's get out of here. <laughs> oh. Oh. Now, now, if you were. If you're a true Rickles fan, I mean, that's it. That's Casino. The other two hours, 57 minutes, you know, are just De Niro and Pesci and Sharon Stone setting up Don's pivotal role. The scene where Pesci beats the crap out of you turned out to be one of the most popular scenes in the movie. <laughs> Who hasn't wanted to do that? <laughs> no, you're a great guy, Don. You are. Not that we give a shit. <laughs> Well, look, anyone who cares whether or not you're a nice guy is missing the point. We care that you're funny and that you open the door for many others to be funny, too. There are millions of nice guys, hundreds of funny people, but there's only one Don Rickles. And if it turns out by some slim chance that that one Don Rickles happens to, Rickles happens to be <laughs> that happens to be nice too. Well, sei mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, when I, uh, I should be standing, but I'm sitting here. Dave, thanks for coming. You don't know, uh, Letterman's not the kind of guy that gets out too much, you know. He's out in the Midwest with his wife saying, uh, honey, uh, shoot that cow and let's go to bed early. Uh, uh, but he, God bless him, he's, he's, not, he's not a big waiver, he really isn't. And uh, it's sweet of you, Dave. I know your busy schedule of going to the bank and trying to figure out what the hell you do. So, anyway. <laughs> I am so thrilled as I look around the room that I'm the biggest name here. This is, this is what, this is what rocks me, rocks me. Now, I'll be very honest with you, all the performers, you were all marvelous, really you were, and I, I will be all night saying how great you were, except that De Niro was weak. But, uh, uh, no, Bob was a great friend. When I did Casino, he kept saying to me, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And like an idiot, I said, yeah, Bob, okay, yeah, Bob. But he was great. Every time we did a scene, <laughs> and Martin Scorsese, God bless one of the great directors in our business, has a little problem with asthma. And so during a main shot, he goes, <laughs> and I got to kiss his ass, so he lets me do the scene. But uh, it's so good to see big like uh, Jerry Seinfeld, I know for many, many years. And he skyrocketed to fame. He's a wonderful guy, and you talk to him, it's like being alone. But, uh... <laughs> I look around this room, and this is the home of the blacks. <laughs> and I see three. And I, uh... God bless you black people, I love you, I really do. Uh... As you're laughing here, I'm sure one of you guys is up in my hotel room robbing me. <laughs> we 
Can I say to every performer that got up here and said these wonderful words about me, I am, I am so pleased and <laughs> I'm embarrassed because that greatness I'm not, but I figure in a couple of hours. Uh, <laughs> but I say from my heart to every performer that came here, as my good friend Bob sits here and, uh, and Jerry who is, hey. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and David Letterman, one of the great guys. I really mean it. I, Dave, we went to dinner. Tw Every time I'm on the show, we go to dinner. Dave, and he's a hermit. He doesn't bother with too many people. He goes with his wife out in the Midwest and just lays in the grass going, mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, I swear to God, I love you. You break everybody up. You're such a son of a bitch. You're great. And Johnny Depp. For Johnny Depp to come here tonight without his cowboy boots, a funny hat. And, and laundry clothes. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. <laughs> Johnny's great. And I see Harvey Weinstein sitting there. Harvey, God, a lot of good talk about you. I personally don't even know you. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, I know you. I know you, Harvey. Good, good. S sits around like everybody knows him, you know. Uh, <laughs> one of those Jews that got hot, luckily. Who knows? You know. <laughs> But, uh, I will say this from my heart, really, from my heart. This is a long night. <laughs> one thing, one thing, one thing I will stand for. I tell you all, from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of my heart, I'm a Jewish kid from Jackson Heights, Long Island, and God... God gave me a big chance and I kept punching and punching away. And my mother stood in the kitchen of all these rough clubs and said, he's funny, he's a funny kid, you'll love him, you'll love him. <laughs> and to all of you, the love I've had, I wish for you. And I say for all of you that are here tonight, the main thing, may God give you health, health, and live a good life. And God bless you all, thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for helping make this such a wonderful evening. Good night, everybody.